as you know, even in 1986, when uh, we had in the changed circumstances arising out of the 1985 election situation come to challenge the dictatorship because at that time too our party had stopped at Saudi Arabia to give Hazri at the house of God and to seek sustenance in the struggle which we knew would be won which would involve hardship and sacrifice. And although we wanted to keep our struggle peaceful, despite that, there was hardship after 1986, particularly on August uh, 14th, when we wished to observe Independence Day, the day our nation was created, the day the Qaeda-Azam had led Pakistan, to the fulfillment of the dreams of the Muslims of the subcontinent to live in an independent nation where their rights could be secured through parliamentary democracy. Thus it was but natural that when the struggle was successful and uh, the government of the people had been formed that we should once again return to the house of God and to offer thanksgiving and to seek his guidance and his help in building Pakistan as a nation where there is respect for law, where there is dignity to the individual, where there is sanctity of life, where there is freedom and where economic opportunities are created not only to give employment to those whose lives are haunted without any source of livelihood, but also to try and create a middle class and eliminate the gap between the rich and the poor. The people, well, there is a saying as those of you who are Muslims here would know that there is a saying that there is a call and those uh, who could make it with us were called to the house of God and they compromised, compromised of many people, comprised of many people who perhaps uh, would never have had such an opportunity but were blessed to visit the house of God itself. There were those who had lost the lives of uh, their near and dear ones. There were those who had been tortured. There were those who had been lashed fighting for freedom. But I think in that moment everyone felt that the sacrifices which had been given had not been in vain and today Pakistan had the unique opportunity of forging national unity and cohesion by strengthening the hands of the democratic government, had the unique opportunity for reconciliation and an end to polarization and a an unique opportunity to develop as a truly great nation which harnessed the wealth of its people, the talent of its people, of the men and the formula banana chahiye. Or is silsle mein, maazi mein kuch takalif hote te hain, business mein, investment mein, rukawat hote te hain, to hum yeh sab rukawat hain khatam karke, humare mulk ke andar investment aasaan karne chaate hain. Or logon ko hum batane chaate hain ki aap apna paisa le aayin. Agar aap yaha apna paisa lagayenge, to mulk ka bhi fayda hooga, aur aap ka bhi fayda is mein hooga. और इस सिलसिले में हमने वहां जो पाकिस्तानी आए थे उनकी अपनी दिलचस्पी थी और वो कह रहे थे कि हम प्रोजेक्ट्स लगाने चाहते हैं मैंने कहा आओ और अभी मैं देखी हूं कि बहुत दुनिया भर में ये ख्वाहिश है कि आजादी पाकिस्तान को मिली है 
کہ ایک ایسا ملک ہے جو تاریخ لکھ رہا ہے اور ہم بھی آ کر کے ہمارا جو کردار ہے وہ ادا کر سکیں جیسے آپ جانتے تھے کہ پہلے پاکستانی باہر جاتے تھے اور باہر کارخانوں میں کام کرتے تھے اور ان کی محنت سے ان کے پسینے سے دوسرے ملکوں کی معیشت میں ترقی ہوتی تھی ابھی ہم چاہتے ہیں کہ کارخانے ہمارے ملک میں لگے تاکہ جب بھی لوگ یہاں محنت کریں اور پسینہ دیں تو خالی ان کے مزدور کا فائدہ نہ ہو اور خالی سرمایہ دار کا فائدہ نہ ہو مگر ساتھ ساتھ ہمارے ملک کے معیشت کا فائدہ ہو اس سے اگر ملک کے معیشت کا فائدہ ہوگا تو پھر ہر ایک پاکستانی کا اس میں فائدہ ہوگا تو یہی ہمارا ارادہ ہے کہ ہم طریقے کار ڈھونڈیں ہم انویسٹمنٹ اور پیسے کو پاکستان کے اندر لے آئیں اور لگا دیں اگر حکومت کے پاس پیسہ ہوتا تو ہم لگا دیں اگر حکومت کے پاس پیسہ نہیں ہے اور خزانہ خالی نہیں ہے تو ہمیں خالی رونا نہیں ہے ہمارے غریب عوام بہت رو کر کے زندگی گزارے ہیں ہمیں ان کے آنسوں کو ختم کرنا ہے اور اس لیے ہمیں وہ منصوبے تیار کرنے ہیں جس کے تحت ہمارے ملک کے اندر معیشت کو تقویت ملے کارخانے لگیں انڈسٹریلائزیشن ہو روڈ کار فرائم ہو انجینئرز کو دوسرے اسکل لیبر کو